All right, everybody. Welcome back to another Ask a Dev Unreal Engine live tutorial. This one is a little bit unscheduled. We are going to be trying to put a bow on our pets and drone series before our live stream tomorrow, which is all about animation setup and tips and everything that you know I've learned from an animation standpoint. So to do that, uh, or before we do that, I thought it would be good to actually put a wrap on our pet series and the one big outstanding thing that we need to address is what happens when we possess our pet and we basically kill our AI logic. So if you recall a few videos back, I mentioned that when we possess our pet, it actually causes a fighting and we can't, the pet can't move and we can't move, etc. But I think actually what ends up happening is we end up destroying our AI logic and we just need to kind of set that up to start working again. So I'm expecting a super quiet night. I'm basically just going to work through this. Anybody who hops in, if you have any questions, feel free to throw those out as we go. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and check our audio levels just to make sure we do have some audio because, you know, we might have made that mistake before. Let me go ahead and get our camera up. And for anybody who's hopping in, as always, thanks for being the best part about doing this. The community, uh, very much appreciate it. It makes it fun. I'm learning a ton from you all. All right, here we are in our pet project. Let me show you all the problem that we were talking about. So what if you remember where we left off, we left off where we had created our pet so that it could spawn, it could attack, etc. But remember, the original goal of this was to be able to possess our pet and fly it around. So if we actually press the F key and we take control of our pet and we start flying around, which is great, this works, although it's better if we're flying within the camera. Uh, the problem is when we're done, if we press F, our drone stops moving, our character starts moving, which is good. STEM Labs, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Um, our drone stops moving and uh, it, it no longer goes back to doing its AI logic. So what we need to do, we can repossess it to fix it, but in general, we want our drone to repossess itself basically is what we're going to do here. So let's escape out of this and see what we got. Yeah, long time no see. It's good to see you again. Thanks for hopping in. Okay, so to do this, basically what we need to do this is this this could be a very short stream pending no crazy hiccups along the way uh, let's take a look at our pet base pet and just to recap or help you all recall when we actually we're going to bring up both uh, let's bring up our third person character as well just to help remind everybody. So in our third person character, when we press F, we stop the movement of our third person character, and then we go ahead and we call our possessed pet. Um, and then, yeah, it is growing, it's great. It's awesome to see everybody helping each other out and stuff, so. Um, okay, so we possess our pet, we get our player controller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now this is where we need to do a little bit of logic. So. What happens is we get our player pawn and we set that to be the player controller. The problem is if we, and I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here, rather than doing trial and error, we'll keep this succinct. If we were to just basically try to restart our AI logic, actually it won't take that long. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go um, event, let's create a custom event. Cause you might try this event restart AI logic. Okay. And you're thinking, all right, well, what I'll do is I'll just get my controller. I'll cast the controller. And this is actually the fun part of this. What we're going to do um, is off of here, we're going to get the brain, which we haven't done before. And it's kind of funny that it's called the brain, but it's cool. So we got the brain component and then here's what we're going to do. We are going to restart the logic. And you're thinking, oh, this is great. So this seems like it should work, but what we will find is what is going to happen is we are, when we unpossess our pet, what we want to do is we want to call this restart AI logic. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's, I believe this is where we want to do this. Let's see if we hit this breakpoint. Okay. 
compile that go ahead and play so we'll possess our pet chase it around unpossess our pet we do not hit that logic let's think we're not coming through here okay so we are coming through our third person character hold on it's been a while since we did this so where Ah, here's our F key, possess, remove from parent. All right, so in here, this is where we repossess our player pawn. Check if it's valid, let's try it in here. Let's uh, restart our AI logic and let's see if we're hitting this breakpoint. Once we have this, this will go really fast. There we go, we hit that breakpoint. Now look at what happens though. When we step into this, uh, actually, doesn't even step oh, into it. Oh, I stepped over it. That's why. So but now that we know that's happening, let's move a breakpoint. And again, to set breakpoints, what I'm doing to set the breakpoints is I'm pressing F9. So I'm going to put uh, a breakpoint on the actual restart the pawn. So let's pass it, or possess it, unpossess it. Here we go. So now we're thinking, all right, let's restart our logic and our drone's going to start working. However, if we look at the controller, this is the problem. The controller is no longer valid. So what we need to do before we possess the pawn, I'm sorry, the pet, what we need to do is we want to store the AI controller that is currently in place. And that's it. This is gonna be super easy, super fast. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, so down here, let's see, where does this happen? We're looking for the possessed pet. Possessed pet right here. So let's add in here a variable. Oh, and you know what? Let me go ahead and do this to help you all out. 1.1, make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's get the controller and we'll cast it to an AI controller. Make some room. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to just basically promote this to a variable and we'll set it. Now, I'm not going to call this as AI controller because that's a horrible name. We'll just call it the AI controller. Uh, if we wanted to be super clear, we could call it pet AI controller, but you should we should know that because it's, but because we have our our player stuff in here too it's probably not a bad bad thing to call this the pet ai controller okay so now that we've stored our pet ai controller what we want to do is in our restart logic all we have to do is run the possess on that ai controller so let me move all of this stuff over and what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to possess if i can spell it right we're going to possess and what we're going to possess is ourself so let's get a reference to ourself and then theoretically what should happen is once we do that let's just disconnect it make sure we hit that and let's see if that even works all right here we go so we'll possess our pawn and then we'll unpossess we do hit uh we do hit the possess but notice our pawn is not moving yet. So we do, Jakub Dizio, hi, thank you. Thank you for hopping in. Jakub, I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, So, but welcome to the stream. So basically what ends up happening is now we're calling it, we've, we've actually repossessed it, our AI controller is there, but nobody told the AI controller to restart again. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go back and fix that. So. And once again, we should really save because we are going to do that. So all that means is we should be able to, I don't even think we need this, this cast here because we have our AI controller. So let's just use this because it should be valid. And let's get, can we get our brain component off that? Okay, this may not, it may not like this, but let's try it. So theoretically, what should happen now is when we unpossess the pet, 
the AI controller should repossess the pet, then we should restart the brain logic. Let's give that a shot. All right, so we were walking around, our pet flies around and shoots at enemies, which is great. And then we're going to possess our pet, fly it around. We can do all the things that we set up throughout the entire series, which is great. And then when we press F to unpossess it, look at that, our, our, our drone is now working again. So what has happened is our logic has restarted and it's going to go back to the original behavior we had, which was it basically flies around and uh, finds uh, positions around where we are and then attacks enemies based on their proximity, which is a, a pretty uh, just simple loop that our pets can go through uh, and so on from there. So at this point, where we are is, I think we're gonna call our pet series a wrap. And so what that means is basically, you know, is there more that we could do as part of this pet series? Absolutely. Um, there's a couple things like we didn't get into potentially how to do the animation sequences for the dragons and the turn in places for a dragon because it flies a little bit differently than the pet. There's a lot of different things that we could add, but I think that those, some of those, especially for example, like the dragon stuff, that is probably worth its own tutorial series about how to set up those animations, the animation blueprints for it, etc. So with that, this was a really quick stream. Like I said, I just wanted to wrap up our pet series before our animation setup tomorrow. But since a bunch of you actually hopped in and for some reason I have insane amount of energy even though it's super late at night, if anybody has any general unreal questions, as always, I'd like to finish the stream by seeing if you all had any questions that you want me to uh, cover. Otherwise, this might be our shortest stream ever. Sometimes there's a delay in the chat. While we wait to see if there is anybody, as always, uh, this series has been fun. Thank you to the community for asking about this, giving me the idea for it. Uh, I stumbled through this. We, you know, the whole idea of this is we stumble through these things together. We find something we don't know how to do. We stumble through it together. We figure it out. And, you know, we have a bunch of fun along the way. So, as always, thanks to the community. Thanks to Patreon for supporting the channel and everything like that. It looks like nobody has any general questions. So what that means is I will see you all tomorrow at 11.30 Pacific time. We're going to be going over Georgie Didilakov. Thanks for hopping and appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna be going over my, tomorrow morning we're gonna be going over uh, all of the things that I've learned as far as my animation setup and workflow in Unreal, basically bringing what, I, what I'm looking for in Maya into Unreal to answer the question, can we animate only in Unreal? That's what we're going for. So we're about to wrap up, Georgie. Did you have any questions before we called it? And actually it's probably Georg, Georgi. I apologize if I'm pronouncing the names wrong. I'm glad the videos are helpful. All right, y'all. If you do have questions, hop in to the Discord. Throw your questions in there. Uh, we try to do a good job of answering those as they come in. And also, we use a bunch of those questions as... Uh, we use a bunch of those questions as the foundation for what the upcoming videos and stuff will be. A full UE5 game development video, please, with Blueprint. <laughs> that, that might take a while. We could do that, we'll get there. We're getting through the basics. We've got, we've got a few more things to cover and then I think we can start making mini games, uh, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun to do together. And then the, the upcoming series will be more of a, let's make a, let's make a, let's make, you know how you see those video games on like Facebook or uh, Twitter, now X, etc., and it's like the tower defense type stuff? We'll just, we'll be like, oh, let's make that game for fun. And that's what we'll do. So as always, thank you all. 
Have a fantastic night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. This was a fast one. Take it easy.